Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to walk through a WordPress installation. And I'm going to do it on my local computer because I have WAMP Server 2 installed here, which is Apache Web Server, MySQL Server, and PHP. You can see here that I can open up WAMP Server and go to my local host page. When I do that, you can see that I've disabled the index.php page and my index.html page, and I've got three directories here. This directory, site 3, is where we're going to be installing this WordPress website. Now I'll go back to WAMP server here, and I'll open up the WW directory of my web server. So this is the web server directory, and there's the folder, site 3. And inside this folder, I've unzipped a version of WordPress 3.4.2. So this is the WordPress framework, which you need to unzip, and I've placed it into this folder. And you can see in this folder, the folders and the files that are basically make up the WordPress framework. So now all I have to do is visit this folder on my, through my web browser. So I'll click on the folder link here, and it takes me to this page. And I'm informed that there is no configuration file. Do we want to create a configuration file? I'll hit yes, and it tells me on this page that for this to work you're going to need to have a database. So also with the WAMP server we'll go to our PHP My Admin page, which I already have open here, and the PHP My Admin of course is a PHP front end for the MySQL server, and you can see that inside the PHP Admin page I've created some databases one for site 1, one for site 2, and this one, site 3, is the one we're going to use for WordPress. If I click on site 3, you can see that it's an empty database with no tables in it yet. I'll click back on Home. If I needed to create a database, I could just click on Databases, and then put in the name of my database, and hit Create to create an empty database. With this working model, or working server, MySQL server, the user is root, I'll go to home here, and so the server is root and there is no password. And we're going to need to know that for when we begin working with this WordPress website. So you can see here, root, 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 that is the only user on my MySQL server. Okay, back to the installation page, I'll click let's go, and you can see the database name is site 3 underscore db. The username is root. Password, there is no password. The host, localhost, and the table prefix. If you want to run multiple WordPress installations in a single database, change this. So I'll just change this to site 3. Alright, and I'll hit submit. All right, Sparky, you've made it through this part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database. So if there had been a problem, we would have gotten a warning that we could not connect to the database because either we put the wrong database name, or we didn't have the right username, or we didn't have the right password for that user. So now all we have to do is run the install. So we'll click Run the Install, and it says Welcome what is going to be your website title. I'm going to say site 3. For This is our third site that we're creating. We've already created two Joomla websites. Username, we'll say admin, we'll stay with the default. And password, put in the same password I was using for the other site. Notice my password is weak. If this was a public web server, I would not be using a weak password. I would be using a password with numbers, letters, uppercase, lowercase, as well as special characters. All right, my email address, I'll put that in one more time. All right, and allow search engines to index this site. If you're planning on having your site be indexed by Google, you'll want this to be checkmarked. I'll leave it checkmarked even though I'm just running this on my own private web server. And I'll click Install WordPress. Okay, I'm not met with any confirmation that 
the site was correctly installed. I clicked install WordPress and I'm not getting any message back. So let's do some checks to see if we can figure this out. If we go to our PHP My Admin database and we click, here's the home page of the database, we click on the site 3, this is our database for WordPress, you can see that we now have the database filled with tables and information basically from the WordPress installation. Also, if we open up a new web page and let's say go to localhost, so I'll go to localhost here, and click on the Site 3 folder where we have our WordPress installation that we've set up, you can see that we're presented with a web page. You can see here it says, Hello World, which is a sign that everything worked, right? Welcome to WordPress. This is your first post, edit or delete it, and then start blogging. Okay, WordPress was designed as a blogging website, how to create blogs, and so this looks like it installed correctly. So I'll just take this page here and close it, and I'm ready to get started administering and manipulating and configuring my three websites. We've got a Joomla 1.5 website that we can work with, a Joomla 2.5 website that we can develop, and also a WordPress 3.4.2 website that we can begin developing. So site 1, site 2, and site 3.